According to new reports, WikiLeaks frontman Julian Assange is in poor health and will be leaving the Ecuadorian embassy soon, which he has been occupying since 2012. Now this news comes just days after the Ecuadorian president Lenin Moreno announced that Julian Assange must eventually leave the embassy. Now what these reports are saying is that the whistleblower's health is deteriorating, according to the Courage Foundation, a group that fundraises the legal defense for whistleblowers. Now, Assange is in a small place, has no access to sunlight, the group says, adding that it has a step the lack of sunlight has a serious impact on both your physical and your mental health. The Ecuadorian president said, For a person to stay confined like that for so long is tantamount to a human rights violation, stressing that Ecuador wants to make sure that nothing poses a danger to the whistleblower's life. However, many people are skeptical of the decision to remove Julian Assange from the embassy given that over the last two weeks, the U.S. has imported a record amount of Ecuadorian oil, leading to speculation that many people are making that this may be a deal or a payoff, meaning if the United States purchases a large quantity of Ecuadorian oil helping the Ecuadorian economy, that Marino will turn around and allow Julian Assange to be taken by UK authorities, essentially ending his uh, sanctuary within the embassy. Now, this all stems back to uh, 2010 when Julian Assange was accused of rape. And then he, he knew that these accusations were false, so he left. He went to find uh, asylum somewhere. Now, since that happened, the rape charges have not only been withdrawn from the Swedish state, but it's also been revealed from the alleged victims that the event never actually took place and that they had actually been pressured to make that accusation against them by whom they reportedly have not yet said. So the whole thing is very suspicious, and it looks like this might very well be the end for Julian Assange and the protection that he so rightly deserves and needs. Now, I mean, it's very clear that this is all a matter of revenge by the United States. Julian Assange and WikiLeaks are responsible for leaking classified information which showed crimes that were carried out by the United States government. Uh, most notoriously is the collateral murder video that got Chelsea Manning locked up for a number of years in which it was shown that the U.S. deliberately targeted a series of journalists for murder. Now, it's, it's very clear at this point, that anything that you may or may not like about Julian Assange is relatively benign compared to what he has actually done. He has shown the crimes of the U.S. empire and has been denounced as evil by that very same empire. Now, even when liberals were giving really vague statements of, you know, being happy that crimes carried out by the Bush administration had been made public, they're also very quickly and very happy to throw him under the bus. Now, when WikiLeaks gives information regarding the theft of the Democratic National Primary from Bernie Sanders to be given to Hillary Clinton and, you know, Bernie in general being cheated out of that uh, leadership position, the liberals are very happy to just turn around and then start accusing Julian Assange of having something to do with the alleged hacking of the election by Russia and the uh, lack of evidence that there is for that whole incident. So we should understand that Julian Assange is not particularly motivated for or against any particular party in the United States, but seems very interested in getting the truth, abuses of power out of the people, and I think he should be awarded and celebrated for that. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.